Green is the color of nature, reflecting the many nuances of vegetation and a symbol of life itself. Green, like the Ifran forest, the most beautiful cedar forest in Morocco, where Barbary macaques live in total liberty. I love the serenity which reigns in this forest. When I'm not in my shop, because there are no customers, I spend most of my time in this forest. I often wander beneath the giant cedars. I feel a great inner peace. It regenerates me. I find it impossible to imagine living without this forest. With the first rays of sunlight, the macaques come down from their trees and spread out in the clearings to warm up. And every day from springtime onwards, Mohammed comes to visit them. The macaque is almost as intelligent as man. It understands things very quickly. If it wants to get something, it acts like a human being. They seize a moment of your inattention to grab what they want, especially if it's food. Then it carries away its prize and seeks refuge in the treetops and starts to eat whilst observing you. Sometimes they steal things thinking it might be food and when they realise they've made a mistake, they start playing with it and end up throwing it back at us. These playful, gentle macaques are the soul of the Ifran forest. They are usually wild, but certain groups have learned to live alongside man. The Barbary macaques are the main tourist attraction in the forest, and they draw quite a crowd. People come from throughout the Kingdom of Morocco and beyond to hear the human mimicry of these primates as they beg for food. The natural habitat of these macaques of the Atlas Mountains is coveted for other uses. The Ifran forest is also home to vast flocks of sheep who come to graze here. Without meaning to, the shepherds are continually pushing the macaques back to the edge of the forest. Besides the sheep, commercial exploitation of the cedar, a valuable wood, is reducing the monkey's territory yet further. To meet the country's demand for wood, thousands of trees are cut down every year in the Middle Atlas region. In the space of a few decades, man and machines have driven out the last wild animals from this forest. 
Until the end of the 1960s, there were lions and tigers here. Their lairs were just over there, where those shacks are. They were also found in the region of Sidi Mer, in the high atlas at Tunfit. But since the cedar has been exploited at this rate, the noise generated by our activity has driven out these animals. Before, it was very dangerous to venture into this forest. There were many wild animals, like hyenas, wolves and foxes. All those animals used to live here, but they've gradually disappeared. In the Ifran forest, there are still some protected areas for the Barbary macaque. But the last macaques of the atlas still living in a natural environment are quite simply dying out. And with them, the symbol of this forest. To the south of Fez, the 116,000 hectares of the Ifran National Park formed the green lung of Morocco. Green also means the astonishing miracle of water in a land where a third of the territory is covered with arid deserts and where rains are rare. South of Wazazat, the most wonderful palm groves in the kingdom are to be found. They extend their luxuriant fronds in a long green ribbon for some 200 kilometers in an ochre and brown valley, the Dra Valley. In this valley, two million date palms tower over the other crops. Thank mm -hmm. you. 